it's a total waste of time. I, I, so what we really feel is we're just being harassed. We're being harassed because we're supporting Mr. Trump. New tonight, a South Florida woman who will be casting one of the votes in the Electoral College to officially make Donald Trump president-elect of the United States says that she's being harassed. She says she's getting phone calls nonstop, emails nonstop from Hillary Clinton supporters. They're telling her that since Clinton won the popular vote, she should be the next president. Robin Bernstein is an Electoral College member from Palm Beach County. And boy, is she hearing it from members of the Never Trump movement. There are crazy people out there that may want to harm us or keep us from doing our, our duty. Even though Election Day was almost a month ago, 538 Electoral College members from all over the country will make it official December 19th. That's when they meet in their respective state capitals and cast their ballot for the candidate who won their state. Emails just, there's so many that I can't even count. And they come every, once every, I don't know, five or ten minutes, they blow up our email box. And they all say the same thing. Hillary Clinton won the popular vote. You have a duty to report to, to, to act on behalf of people in this country. But Bernstein says she's voting for Trump, as she's bound to do since he won Florida. Meantime, another busy day at Trump Tower, with former Vice President Al Gore stopping by. He'd been invited by Ivanka Trump to talk climate change, and he wound up meeting with the incoming president, too. I had a, a lengthy and very productive session with the president-elect. Uh, it was uh, a sincere search for areas of common ground. Trump is on the record as saying he believes climate change is a hoax made up by the Chinese. No word if Vice President Gore changed his mind. Also Monday, word that Dr. Ben Carson is Trump's pick to head up the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Carson's a neurosurgeon who's never worked in government before. And even before he's sworn in, Donald Trump may have his first challenger for 2020. Vice President Joe Biden telling reporters in Washington tonight that he can't rule out a run in 2020. He would be 78 years old at the time.